Within literally five seconds, the welcome wagon suddenly appears and all of a sudden I'm traumatized, I'm distressed, I'm broken. Then Bess Sterling suddenly calls wanting to hook you in to her, allegedly in my opinion, totally illegal pyramid scheme. Then some random from the get together world invites you to join their club because why not? Oh, and do not even get me started on Daddy Vladdy. Having the Sims interact with each other sounds like a great idea on paper. And I can see why the Sims team takes so much time implementing these features because it gives the game some life. But honestly, there is nothing more triggering when you just want to play the game than suddenly you're bombarded with random Sims that are literally strangers to you. Somehow knowing where you live, knocking on your door, calling your mobile, inviting you out for drinks. And that's not the only form of bombardment and harassment in this game. The notifications panel does have its uses. It can tell you when certain events on, it can tell you if something's happening to your sim whilst you're not looking at the screen, but this yeah, we don't need this. Life is about balance. Too much of anything is bad. And when I say anything, I specifically mean notifications in The Sims 4. At some points, I do find the notifications panel useful. Like if you have city living installed, it can tell you when there are events going on in the city living world. In subsequent packs, which have events like Snowy Escape or Island Living, they actually abandoned the use of the notification panel because it was too bombarding and annoying. Yet for some reason in city living, they haven't actually removed this feature or updated it. And honestly, the inconsistency between the packs really bothers me, especially now that we have the calendar added from the seasons pack into the base game, which integrates these events so we never have to look at them again in the notifications panel. I don't just see why they don't just update all of the packs which have events in them. On the subjects of the notifications panel, it looks like my water is about to be shut off. Thanks a lot, Eco Lifestyle. The community board feature is actually a really cool feature from the Eco Lifestyle pack in The Sims 4. For those who aren't familiar with Eco Lifestyle, style, you and your neighbours can vote on community policies that affect the way your sims live their lives. On paper, this is a really cool feature. We are always desperate for new consequences and gameplay ideas in The Sims 4, but when you have a neighbourhood full of sims with bags over their head because that's a new policy voted on the community board, and then your water gets shut off because of some other policy, it really does become a nightmare. This feature is just so overpowering. You're constantly being bombarded with one policy after the other, and let's be honest, none of us ever remember to check the community board or vote on the community board. It is just such a nightmare. On the subject of nightmares, I have two words for you. Dust bunnies. When The Sims team first announced kits, they gave us a gameplay kit, a casket, and a build by kit. Interestingly, Dust the Bus, Dust the Bus, Dust the Bus was the first and last gameplay kit they've ever given us. Hmm, I wonder why. If you don't clean your Sims houses constantly, dust will begin to pile up and dust bunnies will appear from the piles of dirt. You can interact with them, which is quite a cool feature. You can get some free gifts from them. You can have a little chat with them. It's a bit of a kooky, cool feature. On paper, it sounds great. You just let your house get dirty because you can't be bothered to clean and in return you get gifts and rewards. What more do you want in life? You literally get incentivized not to clean until you experience it in The Sims 4 that is. It is insane how quickly your Sims houses will get dirty. You are constantly having to hoover and even if you do want to allow it to get dirty so the dust bunnies come in, it's such an easy exploit because they give you so much money, they give you so many collectibles that you can sell for lots of money. Your Sims will literally never need to work again. It is just so randomly overpowered. Everyone's says Seasons is the best pack. And I guess, yeah, Seasons is the best pack, but that doesn't mean it's not the most frustrating pack. I honestly cannot cope with summer in The Sims 4. Winter too. You literally spend hours in cast making the perfect everyday outfit for your Sims, but they never wear it because they always immediately switch to their summer wear. And if you do put on their normal everyday wear outfit in summer, your Sims will burn to death in about five minutes. The exact same thing goes for winter. If you put them in their everyday wear, they freeze to death. The amount of sims I've accidentally frozen or burnt to death in this game because of seasons is insane. I personally only really like the seasons pack for autumn because that's my favorite IRL season, but summer and winter, honestly, they traumatize me. What traumatizes you about the sims for? I want to know. Let me know in the comments and make sure you watch the next curse and crazy video up here. See you in the next one.